For this job, you will need a trailer wire connection kit, a T25 hex driver, pliers, electrical tape, and a digital voltmeter. To start out with, we will need to remove the carpeting on the left side and on the right side. So this way I can remove this piece of trim and it makes it a little easier to get the carpet off. Let me gently coax the carpet off. There's uh, one pop rivet here. I need to gently work loose. And then the carpet pulls right out. You can access the wires. Alright, so we're attaching first the driver's side wiring harness, which you'll find inside here. You can see where it goes up into the tail light assembly. And uh, I removed some of the electrical tape. Yeah, you see the purple wire, black wire, and a purple and gray wire. Those ones you want to connect to. Squeeze the pliers, make sure it makes good contact. And it's not going shut. Okay. So here's the passenger side wiring harness. And you can see right here uh, where it's going to the tail light. I'm going to undo a little bit of the electrical tape and I'm going to make the connection right there to the green wire. Right, and this is the wire we want right here the tan and black wire. Now that kit comes with a four foot section of cable. Um, now I opted to use an extension cable so that I can tuck it in here real neatly uh, under here so it's invisible when not in use. And I got plenty of extra cable coming out when I do need to use it. Uh, another option would be to just splice on a section to it. To test this out, we're going to turn on the lights and the turn signals. So I'll turn the lights like that and uh, we'll turn on the uh, turn signals, left turn signal. And with the left turn signal on, uh, we'll see the, the meter jumping back and forth uh, between around 12 volts and zero volts. Um, when you connect the red to the yellow and the black connects to the ground right there. To test uh, the lights out, you should see around 14 volts. Uh, between the white and the brown wires. Testing out the right turn signal, uh, connect between the white wire and the green wire, and we'll see the voltage jumping between around 12 volts and zero volts. I'd like to wrap this electrical tape to make sure it's sealed well. So there it is, all sealed up. Now I carefully push this carpet back in. I've popped the carpeting back in and I'm going to screw the trim pieces back on. I popped them in. Screw them back in.
little tip. If you have to take off this piece, then little plastic retainers uh, get broken. These uh, Nissan retainers uh, from O'Reilly are actually a good substitute.